the likely outcomes in a foreclosure defense are not the homeowner gets off without paying the first note or the second note, but the most likely outcome is that depending on the amount of leverage and stress a proper defense puts on the lender, uh, the homeowner may be able to successfully negotiate a more favorable term uh, for their loan, may be able to negotiate a short sale uh, that allows them to get out of the deal clean uh, but surrenders the property, or some other, there's any, there's any number of different possible outcomes. Those are the two uh, primary ones. Uh, for, if the, the homeowner wants to stay, it's going to be a modification of some kind, um, or perhaps even a restructuring of the loan. Um, in many cases, many of the homeowners I represent have a temporary setback. They get back on their feet after, say, a medical crisis, and they have a six-month shortfall, but they can pay the current note if they were just allowed to. Well, it'd be nice to be able to shift that balance, you know, to the end or spread it out. Um, modifications like that are often, often possible over forbearance of some kind. Um, but in, in every case, there has to be some kind of incentive on the lender to make those concessions. Uh, and part of, part of what I do by litigating, by fighting the foreclosure, by raising the defenses that we'll talk about throughout this presentation, um, we provide incentives for the lender to do that, and we provide defenses for the homeowners so that they are not just out on the street uh, if they have legitimate legal defenses uh, to the foreclosure lawsuit.